Alrighty, it's time for the chapter 4 Excel tutorials. And we're going to start with form 1 number 23. Alright, now notice I've already built, built my spreadsheet. I have different tabs for every problem. I've already labeled them and I've already saved it with my name and what the assignment is that's chapter 4 Excel. Of course you would put your name there. I know what my name is, but you would put your name. Alrighty, let's see what they want us to do. So let's go look at 41 number 23. Here's the information. And it says, if the pediatrician wants to use the heights to predict circumference, determine which variable is the explanatory and which is the response. Well, here's a hint. Explanatory tends to be the one on the left, i.e. the x variable, and response tends to be the one on the right. So we don't need that. Then it says to draw a scatter diagram. Alright, let's go back. Alright, so I would write my answer for A, you know, somewhere. Oopsie. You know, bold it, control B, make it big. There we go. And I'm not particularly fond of how little these columns are, so I'm going to double click and make them bigger. There we go. Now I can see. Alright, you highlight the data. Highlight the X variable here, the explanatory and the response right here. You go to insert. You choose scatter. There it is, scatter. Click on it, and there you go. You got a scatter plot. It's as simple as that. All right, you can clear out that legend. We don't need that. And now here is a case where we really do want labels for the axis it's because they're, they, of course, mean different things. So let's click on layout. Let's click on the axis titles. Now the horizontal axis. Let's do title below. The horizontal is the X, i.e., the independent, the explanatory. So that would be height in inches. You learn it as independent when you're in algebra class. In statistics class they don't like that term because really nothing's independent and everything's interrelated. So they call it explanatory. Alright, now over here go to axis title, click vertical, and I particularly like the rotated one but you can do whatever you want. And I'm going to type head circumference in inches. There we go. And now what this really is, is let's, let's double click on this title and let's change it. This is a, um, what is it, height versus head circumference for children, if I'm not mistaken. Oops, we lost the data set. Let me go back. Scroll down. Yep, for three-year-olds, for three-year-old children. So let me go back for three-year old children. Great. Alright, let me click out of that. Part B is done. We have our scatter plot. Alright, now we'll be ready for part C. Let's see, let's go back. Oops, let's see what they need. Compute the linear correlation coefficient. Alright, so let me move this aside. Just, not because I want to get rid of it, but I just don't want it in my way right now. Alright, now how to do this? Well, you can highlight the data if you like. I don't think it'll really matter, but if you just want to keep clear what you're doing, click on data. There's the data ribbon. Over here is data analysis. You want to choose regression. There it is, regression. Now be very careful. It does it backwards. The Y is your dependent, your response. That's the head circumference. So click there and highlight all of that. And the X, let me go over into there, click there and highlight all that, is your explanatory, your, your independent. Now check this box right here. If you have labels, check that, which we do. Look at our top row. That's got labels in it. So I'm going to click that. And then you can choose what to do, but I, I like having the output right in here. So let me click output. Now don't click anywhere else. Click here, right here in this one next to output range. And now go click on an empty cell like let's say D1. There we go. And now I'm going to click OK. There it is. And the, let me double click here so you can see. And the correlation coefficient is right here. Bold it. And I'm going to go to the home and make it yellow. So that way it's easy to spot. Alrighty. We've found the correlation coefficient. Notice it's positive because this goes up, right, on the graph. 